this video, we will explain the way polymers have interact with musical instruments and how they have shaped the modern musical landscape. For example, the casing and keys of this caber are made out of polystyrene. And the heads of this room set are made of polyethylene. However, we will be focusing on strings, especially violin and guitar strings. The concept of musical string began before the guitar. Strings were not made of what we know now. Then they were made out of different materials such as hair or intestines. As time passed, strings made out of animal intestines were the common strings used in this type of instruments. The number of strings used changed through time. They go from quarter pairing that consists of A strings to pentapairing that are 10 strings. Then the quarter string plus one that consists in nine strings and so on. The inherent problem with cat cut strings is their reliability. These strings became dry, weak and brittle over time. So they changed the material. As we notice, polymers are one of the primary elements the guitars are made of. There are two types of guitars, acoustic and electric, and in both we can find polymers. Talking about their bodies, the acoustic guitars are made of carbon fiber, but most electric and acoustic guitars are also made of maple, or other types of wood which is an added polymer called cellulose. For example, we also found polymers in piquars as plastic called polystyrene. Another useful thing are cords and cables that wouldn't be much without insulation. And that insulation can be made of plastics like polyethylene or from some kind of rubber such as polysoprene. As well, amples use polypropylene for the cones of their speakers and have nylon mesh covering them.
by the 20th century with the advances in technology and materials basing in the necessities of the device and the properties of the resources they start using another alternative such as steel and nylon, as in classical guitars. Nylon was lightweight and did not have the same density as catgut strings. In effect, nylon was less bright sounding but had better strength and surface texture. The classical guitar is different than the steel string acoustic guitar used for pop, folk or country music. The classical guitar looks almost the same but it has nylon strings and the player uses his fingernails rather than a pick to play it. This gives it much softer harp like sound. Also because there is no need for a pick. The classical guitar has no polystyrene pick guard like a steel string guitar. By the way, guitar picks are made from nitrocellulose, one of the early synthetic polymers, and fingernails are a type of protein. Nowadays, strings makers continue improving the material and technologies they use in strings. Originally, violin strings consisted of biopolymers that came from catgut, which is the common name for the treated intestines of sheep. There were also experimentations with animal muscle and connective tissue, but catgut was the favorite for luthiers at the time. Despite the rich tone, catgut strings faced some problems, such as sensitivity to humidity. They were hard to manufacture because the process consisted of various treatments to the intestines to cleanse them from bacteria and the fact that they easily got out of tune. As well, the E string was very prone to breaking. This happened because in order to achieve the high tones from said string, the catgut had to be extremely thinned down, which reduced their tensile strength. To solve this problem, people started using a metal gut combination, which then led to full metal strings. These strings, though tougher and stronger than gut, lacked the rich tones of their predecessors, making them very pure in quality sound. Then came the synthetic polymer strings, richer and more responsive than metal, tougher and less affected by climate than catgut. The first synthetic strings were introduced by Thomastic Enfield as the dominant strings. Nowadays, most of these strings are made from perlon, which is a variety of nylon. There has been, however, some experimentation, such as the use of Cyex in the Dadario Cyex strings. We can also talk about the violin bows. These bows are mostly made from wood, horsehair, and a decorative piece of abalone. Leather is also used for the thumb grip. These are all biopolymers. The wood must be durable, yet flexible, to create a concave shape. If it is a high-pitched instrument, white horsehair is used. If it is a low-pitched instrument, black hair is used. Nowadays, violin bows fashioned from carbon fiber are common yet way more expensive than the wooden ones. These new types of bows are lighter and stronger, helping violinists that need a faster stroke for their bows. As for the horsehair, 
there have been many attempts to use synthetic hair for the violin bows, but most violinists argue that none has been any good. This is because the rougher texture of natural horsehair allows for the rosin, also a biopolymer, to adhere more easily. <laughs> Finally, there is the actual body of the violin. Classical violins are made out of wood, a biopolymer. However, the kind of wood that is used, as well as its treatment with lacquers and other polymers, heavily influences its sound. This is evident in the famously expensive and ultra-high quality Stradivarius violins. Besides the expert Luther technique used to build them, one of the secrets behind their fantastic sound is the material they are made of. Nowadays, however, with the advent of the electrification of instruments, violins no longer are required to be made from wood. Electric violins do not need a resonant box because the amplifier will replace it. Therefore, there is no need for a conventional shape, nor conventional materials as this will no longer affect the sound. This has led to the creation of violins made out of polymers such as acrylic and even the 3D various violin, a violin made from transparent polycarbonate that was almost completely 3D printed. As we have seen, chemistry and music are deeply intertwined, especially when talking about polymers. Polymers have brought new innovations in the field of music, allowing for revolutions in sound quality and in music production, be it in the form of strings, in electrifying classical instruments such as the violin, or in affecting the sound quality of guitars. Polymers have shaped the way we produce music. <laughs>